Hi there, my name is Dino. I'm also known as Tinkerman on the Nui forums, and here is another do-it-yourself tip on how to make silicone-coated drafting paper. I've got an idea today. I want to try thinning up some of my silicone with xylol. I'm using GE Silicone 1 Clear. Put it in a caulking gun, and I'm going to squirt it into this mixing cup. Mix it with some xylol. Got some stir sticks, and I've got this really cool squishy foam roller. I'm hoping I can put a little thin layer of it on my vellum here. I've got it taped down right now into a nice flat surface with a little bit of plastic on it. That'll help protect my surface underneath and I've got tape on all four sides of my nice clean piece of vellum. Okay, I've got some xylol poured in here. Tiny bit. Very small amount in my mixing cup. Just enough to make a few millimeters on the bottom. Probably like four or five millimeters deep. And I'm going to take some of this silicone and I'm going to drop it right in there. And I'm going to do about the same amount of silicone just by eyeball. I'll let you take a look at it. You can see there about how much I have in there. It's a nice, nice doo-doo glob. Now we're going to mix that up really good with the xylol. This takes a little bit of just patience. It'll slowly dissolve. Don't go whipping it around. You'll splatter it. That's no fun. Okay, we're starting to get it mixed a little now. Once you get it to a point where it starts to break up a little, it gets a little easier. You want it to be just barely thin enough to run off the end of the of the stir stick. I'm going to keep stirring because I need to get it nice and consistent. Can't have any lumps. It's like lumpy oatmeal. That's not good. Nobody likes lumpy oatmeal. Nor do we like lumpy silicone. Okay, that's looking pretty good now. Let's see if I can get it where you can see it. See, it wants to run off and not cling. It's still running off. So that's good. It's flowing. That's what we want. Now I have to work fast, I think. I'm going to get ready. Over here, pour the stuff down in one nice line right across. Just like that. Keep it all out. Work fast. Make good decisions. It's like Ghostbusters. Okay, here we go. Take the roller now and just pretend you're painting your your college dorm, your house, your whatever. Roll that stuff on. Get it up nice and even. We don't want any spots where it's jobs up too much. Just squish it right around. Don't be afraid to get right into it and move it around. There are any places where it's thicker than it is in others. So use the roller to kind of pick it up move it somewhere else. Keep going back and forth with it. This is looking really good. I'm liking the texture I'm seeing. And the evenness is so much easier than the other technique with the uh, squeegee. The vapors coming off this are still no fun, so either work outside like I am now or if you're at all indoors wear a respirator. This is beautiful. I really like this. This shows promise. Okay, about an hour has gone by and uh, this has dried pretty nicely, but I'm going to put one more layer on just to get it a little thicker. It feels really, really thin right now. If I had to guess, I'd say it's only five thousandths or so. Nothing. Hardly anything. So, one more layer. I've got it mixed pretty thin this time, as you can see. It pours right on this time. It's about a one-to-one -one ratio. number two complete.
Well, we're dry now. Cured. It's been a while. I'm going to cut this off from the table. I like to just use a razor blade and a straight edge, and you don't have to be fancy. You can square it up later. Just cut inside the tape. It's really nice. Put it on the table and find out how well it works. Soon enough. <clears throat> this is pretty easy to do compared to this squeegee method. But it's pretty messy and it's not too consistent. This looks to me like it would be much more consistent than the other. There you go. One sheet of silicone. Um, it's a beautiful thing. Thank you very much.